young and fragile like a bird in the sky and i'm old like gravel i've been kicked around too many times i'd never hurt you if i could so you let your guard down you're like a glass of wine. well it seems that today i'm going to be photographing in a foggy forest during winter I mean, having forest into the fog, it's really great. And you know that I'm photographing during foggy conditions anywhere. But having fog inside the forest and this powder of snow, fresh snow on top of the leaves, on the, on the trees, uh, in the trail. <laughs> well done, Mother Nature. And uh, it's time for us to begin to photograph a full frame body, a Canon 6D and a 24 to 105 millimeter lens. Today I am uh, using this um, all around lens if you want in the forest, because I can also have the ability to shoot wide and also to do some telework if I think there is needed. Uh, of course, whenever we have winter scenes, we measure the exposure, but because of the white of the snow, the camera will tend to underexpose the scene. So we need to overexpose it, half a stop, one stop, one and a half stops, depending on how much light there is into the scene. Well, let's start photographing, let's stop talking because I don't know how much this weather is gonna last and I don't want to lose any shots. The white balance is gonna be on daylight today. There are moments when, you, when I'm switching to shade or uh, cloudy, but today, <laughs> see how many leaves. <laughs> today I'm shooting in daylight because I want to have this misty blue look to the image. Right now I'm going towards a swamp that now has some water on it and I'm seeing some of my favorite trees with strange shapes being covered in this powder snow. Let's go through here. That is one of the trees over there. So trying to cover as much ground as possible in a really short amount of time. It's a really big day today because of this. You don't get to see this very often and it's a situation that can't be missed. For this shot I'm going to be really low and I'm going to close the aperture to gain that big depth of field. And although I don't like including this because this is man-made, I have no ability to remove them from here. They are here for ages. So I'm gonna use them and incorporate them into my shot. I think if I'm finding something interesting that it's not this and I'm gonna use it in the foreground, then you're gonna see it <laughs> in the final shot. But I want to have the surface of the water and then the forest up goes uh, in, uh, into the sky. And I'll also try to see if I can make a reflection work. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try it. Let's take the tripod. Always using the tripod, even though it's snowing, don't be fooled not My using mind. the tripod. Oh, you captivate me. Oh, you captivate me. In the beautiful prison in your eyes Oh, you captivate me Oh, you captivate me Well, just by looking at these photos, uh, I think that the reflection photo looks better than the other one that has the foreground element. I'll just have to wait to arrive home and look it on a, on a computer. But from what I'm seeing right now, it looks much more interesting. I'm having such a great time and I think you can see this in my enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm, I'm home. <laughs> look at it. All around me, only snow, fog, and a really beautiful forest. <sighs> Today it's gonna be a great day. I'm also seeing some trees, so I'm gonna be doing some detail shots because I have the tree, the roots at the base that are powdered in, and you can also see the black of the roots, and you see the shape of the roots, and then you have some powdered snow on the leaves, and that also looks so 
so great. I just need to find an angle that is good enough so uh, I can take the shot. Very nice. It's a very nice day. Something more to this than we Cause I just got out and you've never been Now what am I searching in a situation like this? Beside the usual compositional elements, the S-shape, the zigzag, the element of interest, I'm searching for elements that will kind of block the eye on one side and another of the photo. And then I'm also searching for mystery. This is the most important part because everyone can find a nest shape, a zigzag, or something interesting in the forest to photograph. The trick is to find something that it's really worth photographing and that is really producing an interesting effect on you. And the effect that I'm searching for today, or I'm looking for today, is mystery. Because of the fog, because of the things that you don't see. And because of that, I want to create some mystic shots if you want some kind of frozen land shot. And I hope to obtain this by going deeper and deeper into the forest. I recently posted a photo on Instagram talking about 10 years uh, have passed since I'm uh, my own employee and my own employer and this is the the reason for which I'm doing this <sighs> just listen to something nothing this quiet this sentiment that all this it's only for you it's kind of selfish but it's a really great feeling to hold here and to remember and to talk about because photography it's not only about photos it's about the journey the experience the things that you're learning from nature and the beautiful stories that you have to tell. You've never been, so let's start over and let love begin. Oh, you captivate me, oh, you captivate me, and I'm getting lost in the beautiful prison in your eyes. Oh, you captivate me, oh, you captivate me. Let me love to come on in and stay a while Will you captivate me? I'm entering another part of the forest and as you can see over there it's the entrance into the forest and I really like that because again it speaks about the mystery. If I'm going to expose for the light in the outside of the forest it's going to be at this point at least half a stop lighter than the rest of the forest so we're gonna have let's say a game of light and darkness and into the forest the path that leads into the forest it's gonna be slightly darker than what you see outside and that i think will add to uh, the mystery that i'm trying to create here Here are one of the twists and S shapes that I'm talking about and I'm wanting to capture in my shots. Let's see if I'm gonna do it standing up or really low. I just have to emphasize the S shape as much as possible. Oh, you captivate me And I'm getting lost in the beautiful prison in your eyes Oh, you captivate me 
also this part of the forest it's half a step darker than the other part of the forest and that is because the trees are closing in much more aggressively <laughs> if you want and I think this this is better for my uh, for my target from today that forest had the trees with lots of gaps in it here the trees are closing in at the top and the light it's slightly it's slightly lower in this area of the forest and uh, for now I really like the fact that the, the trail it's not covered entirely on, uh, into the snow so it kind of helps me lead the eye because if you have heavy snow in the forest if you have all the trees covered in snow and heavy snow you will not distinguish uh, really better or really good you will not distinguish really good uh, what is happening but in this case I think uh, everything works in my favor we are closing in into the end of this vlog which was I think a really great one and it's impossible not to like it and not to share it with your friends and not make you subscribe to this YouTube channel <laughs> but if you're not going to subscribe I have to do a better vlog next time <laughs> you captivate me oh Captivate me, oh you captivate me And I'm getting lost in the beautiful prison in your eyes Oh you captivate me, oh you captivate me And if you let me, I'd love to come on in and stay a while Oh you captivate me Oh, you captivate me And I'm getting lost in the beautiful prison in your eyes Oh, you captivate me Oh, you captivate me So with this last shot of the tree with the few branches and few leaves into all that fogginess and uh, mystery and mist I think we'll end this vlog here if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are already subscribed, thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, thanks for supporting me. And until next time, keep on photographing is the only way you can get better. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Beautiful Bye -bye. prison in your eyes Oh, you captivate me Oh, you captivate me and if you'd let me love to come on in and stay.